still going with the flow. Okay. <clears throat> Deep breath in. And exhale and allow yourself to center into the core of your being. Another deep breath in. And again, center, allowing that peace to just settle in. One more deep breath in. And exhale just to be here in this time and in this space. Bring your awareness now to the bottoms of your feet. There's an energy portal there in each foot. And this energy portal does two things. One, it allows unwanted energy to drain away. And two, it allows you to absorb the strength and structure from planet Earth. So as you are mindful of those energetic structures, they'll open like the eye of a camera And any unwanted energy drains away, and any energy that you would like to receive comes to you. This grounding energy, this earthing energy, this energy of balance, of being strong. And allow that process to just be, and bring your attention to the top of your head. There's an energy portal there. And as you're mindful of that, that also opens like the eye of a camera. This is that willing connection between you and spirit. This allows you to connect more fully. It's always open. But with your intention, intent and attention, this expands and opens and allows that connection to be deeper and stronger. And as you connect into that which is love and light and joy and peace, you may have a sense of connecting into an energy portal above your head. And maybe it has a sense of being blue or green or purple or white or iridescent or silver or gold. Whatever you experience is what is right for you in this moment. Whatever color you sense, whatever feeling you experience is right for you in this moment. And as you touch that with your awareness, then the living light of love takes that form and pours into the top of your head. Pouring this living light of love into the top of your head. And it takes all those fears and sorrows and traumas and pushes them out. And once they disconnect, they just fall out the bottoms of your feet. Letting more and more of this living light of love pour in. And now let it touch right where we did our anointing today, right in your third eye. Sometimes our perceptions are not in alignment with truth because of old hurts and old wounds. And now you can be aligned in a clear, bright space of hope and love. So allow that to fill your mind. And allow that energy now to emanate from you and it will draw more of that to you like a beacon. You'll be calling more love, more light to you in your life experiences. Let it touch your eyes. Let it touch the occipital lobes at the base of your skull. This is all in that perception field. And this grants you the ability to see yourself in the light of love. Grants you to see every situation in the light of love. Letting more and more of that healing light of love, more and more of that living light of love, let it touch your mouth, your throat, your ears. This gives you the ability to speak your truth gently and sweetly with kindness and compassion. 
and you get to hear someone else's truth. And if it doesn't resonate with you, you don't have to fix it or change it. You just recognize it's not your truth. And let it be with peace. Letting more and more love and light flow into your shoulders, down your arms. This allows you the ability to choose worthy work. And whatever you put your hands to do, you will bring worth and value to it. Letting more and more love and light fill your torso. Let that touch every organ, every system, every tissue, bringing healing, bringing light bringing balance to every aspect of your being. Letting more and more love and light fill your legs, down into your feet, and let that light just shine through you deep into the earth. You're anchoring this living light of love into this physical plane. What a blessing to do that. You're a conduit of love and light. And now gently close the bottoms of your feet And we're going to take a little walk in our imagination. I want you to imagine yourself walking along a pathway. And at the end of the pathway, there's a cloud bank. But it's not ominous. You see that there are stairs cut into the cloud bank. And because this is our imagination, and anything's possible, you can walk up those stairs onto the cloud. And as you climb up those stairs or step up those stairs effortlessly, you have a sense of getting to a higher realm, a higher space, a higher energy field. And as you get to the end of the steps, there's a kind of an open space, it's just cloud fluffy stuff. It feels peaceful here. Then you realize that this cloud can support you. It's strong enough. So you step out onto the cloud, and as you do so, the rest of the clouds kind of part, and you see a beautiful city. It's made of crystals. There are whole buildings that are just crystalline. And the inside of each building is open and clear. And you realize that there are beings of light that dwell in this place. And they're here to guide you and support you, encourage you, comfort you and care for you. And as you're looking at this beautiful city of crystals, crystal city of light. You're drawn to a particular building, particular crystal building. Perhaps it's a, a place where these beings gather to meet. Perhaps it's a private sanctuary where they go to commune with divine source uniquely to them. So whatever you're experiencing, whatever you're drawn to, know that it's just right for you. And as you approach that crystal, you have a sense that it's humming. And it feels lovely. You may wish to touch that crystal in form. And as you do so, The energy that you experience resonates through your whole being. Allow yourself now to step into that crystal. Either there's an already a doorway there or the crystal opens. As you step in, you feel surrounded by light, surrounded by love, surrounded by peace. And there's a spirit being already here for you. And this spirit being has a gift for you. Perhaps it's a word or a thought or a feeling or a symbolic object. 
And this being hands that to you, and you receive that, whether it's an actual object or the energy vibration. You receive that with great gratitude. Even if you don't understand what it is, just receive that. Allow it to be. And because you have a deep sense of gratitude for this, even if you don't know what it's all meaning, you can have a sense that this is profound and powerful. And that gratitude for that allows you to gift this being of light something, a gift in exchange. Perhaps it's a word or a thought or a feeling or some symbolic object. Even if you don't know what it's supposed to mean, you allow that to take place. Give that gift freely. And just know that it does have deep spiritual meaning for you. And you say your goodbyes, you greet this, acknowledge this spirit being, thank them for their time, their willingness to be of service. Step back out of the crystal feeling new, different, vibrating at a higher vibration than you ever have before. And allow yourself to walk back across the cloud. And as you do so, you look back and the clouds now cover the Crystal City. You know you can come back at any time you'd like, but for now, it's just closed. And walk down those cloud stairs onto the path and let that path lead you back into the here and now, into this time and space, into this room, back into your body here fully. You feel rejuvenated, relaxed and empowered and again vibrating at a higher vibration than you ever have before. I want to take a deep breath in, stretch a bit, wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. Welcome back. Does anyone have a question about their meditation? Oh, this is a different. Okay. Fastest hand in the room. <laughs> Fling. It's true. Um, as I was climbing up into the clouds, I could always catch in the distance um, this kind of almost swirling not quite a hurricane, but it was just swirling around all these clouds, just swirling and swirling around a central core of something as I kept trekking through. So you were in the, in the peace? I was in a peaceful place out. above and like, like as if in like looking across from oh, some place, okay. okay. there's this swirling like energy okay. of, of clouds just going around and around and around, around the central core area of power or something like that. Cause it was really kind of this dark and yet, it, the rest of the clouds are all just gray and white. Washington, uh, D.C. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, that could be symbolic of um, your perception of the world right now is yeah. pretty much hurricane. Everything's all turned up and it's kind of dark. And yeah. So there's some, there's some heaviness and darkness in your periphery. Yeah. You're not in it, but no. you're aware of it. No. Go ahead. And as I, I didn't really see a, a castle or anything like that. It was kind of like I was seeing more of the creatures that were living in there, which were kind of like species in every type of dragon. Cool, that were just I love flying dragons. around. Cool. And I could feel some somebody just like kind of touching my forehead on the left side, like with their jaw, just uh -huh. like kind of touching me right there. And uh, it was just a beautiful, a beautiful sense of peace and acknowledgement. And you weren't a snack. No, I weren't a snack. No, it was just like, hi, how are you? <laughs> and um, it was kind of like more like the crystal really wasn't a solid form. It was more like a gaseous. Mm -hmm. So I was actually like surrounded in it. Cool. And I gifted what I think is a cluster of kyanite that was glowing in return. What's the energy of kyanite? Do you know? Um, I don't know. It, it kind of falls in the... Um, Mary Loga, where are you? Do you know? I think that... Um, I think it has connection in the angelic or the spiritual realm. I'm, I'm not quite sure. 
Okay. It's, it's a cleanser. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Might want to look that one up when you get home. Yep. And what did you what did you give back? Well, that's what I gave him. Oh, that's what you gave. That's what I gave. It, basically, I just re I just received whatever sensation that they were transporting to oh, gotcha. me is what gotcha, I accepted, gotcha. and I gave them the cluster. Okay. So this is allowing. Did you notice the room just filled up with angels? Just full. This room is packed. Spirit guides, angels, whatever. So um, this is your willingness to be a healer. Awesome. Have you have you studied any healing techniques not, or modalities? Besides Reiki, no. no you really. might want to look at that again. Okay. So you, you're vibrating at a higher energy. There's all this turmoil and struggle. People need you. Mm. You're needed. That healing energy is needed. Okay. So you might want to look at that again. All right. Cool. cool. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Do you have a comment on that, Dan? Well, I have my own. You have oh, own. you have your own. Okay, so, Dan. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then we'll work our way forward. As the clouds parted and I saw the Crystal City, it was quite large, but there was one small building that I was drawn to. It was more clear than the rest. And I walked in, and it looked like the inside of a cabin. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Woods all over the place, and there was this long, like a breakfast bar, and there was a young man sitting there. He was the only one in the room. And he slid across the bar to me <laughs> a gold-covered notepad, uh -huh. and it had a pen with it. And I tore a piece of paper out of that notepad to hand back to him. And he said, I will help you fill those pages. Awesome. Wow. So I think you have some writing that's going to be inspired. Could be. Certainly have shared a lot of inspiration in our, in our group here. So more inspiration coming. Wonderful. I can't wait to read that. That was it. Awesome. That was awesome. Did you were you able to give anything back? Just the paper? Just the paper. Okay, so this is acknowledging your willingness to do that. Okay. It doesn't have to be now, but know that it's it's coming to you. I don't want to put a burden on you. But when you're ready, it'll just happen. Okay. He's received that message more than once, that it's time to write. Oh, you have received that message more than once. <laughs> Don't you love those divine reminders? <laughs> well, I appreciate the consistency. Yeah, well, yeah. There you go. But it's golden. So this is this is inspired stuff. So you don't have to it, it's not like you have to come up with it. You're the, um, you're the instrument. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, um, you're fine. I was ahead of you again. I'm already <laughs> in the clouds uh, up there in one thing or another and uh, I met my guide that I see quite often, but what? But what I received was just a sm slight touch on my cheek, uh -huh. a very loving touch mm. on my cheek, and what I gave back was um, a homemade rustic-looking birdhouse. I have no idea, and as I gave it to him, the bird flew. There was a bird in it, and it flew out. Okay, so. Uh, the touch on the face, this is just love. acknowledgement of you are loved. Yes. You are very much loved. So a birdhouse, oh my goodness, and it had a real bird in it. Yeah. Do you have any idea what kind of bird? Very small. Like a and sparrow very, or a finch or something? It was very small, but very blue. Okay. That's all I know. So the blue bird of happiness. Oh, cool. Um, this is... By giving this back is that you are acknowledging to yourself that you get to create for yourself safe structure for yourself, <sighs> sanctuary for yourself, and is from that safety and that structure out of love that you're creating this and then you can fly free and that happiness and freedom that you're looking for will find you. Beth is over here pointing at me. B -b 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 yeah, yeah, see, I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I just want to comment on mine. Um, I received a bright green apple. Okay. Um, and it was really aromatic. Uh huh. Like it's it, while you were having us come back down the cloud, that's all I could smell. Wonderful. Was this tart green apple? Wonderful. Um, the energy of an apple. What did you give back? Um, I touched my forehead to the being's forehead. Ah. Uh. 
Again, um, that and sacred I just, connection. All I could get was um, familiarity. Somehow. Yeah. We knew each other. So the energy of this apple, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Um, apples have to do with the energy of healing, consuming that which is healing for you. Uh, the fact that it was aromatic lets you know that essential oils would be really helpful for whatever journey you're on right now. Um, but it's very pure, it's very fresh, it's a refreshing uh, sense of that. Uh, it's crisp and sharp, but flavorful. So this is a new bright aspect is headed your way. Okay. Nutritious. nutritious and healing, and spiritually nutritious as well as physically nutritious. Do you work pretty good at, are you, you're pretty diligent about what you eat, correct? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you certainly have that, that energy of that balanced uh, food. Okay. Because people who eat better glow better. So you have that energy glow already. With you. I'm conscious of what my kiddo eats. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. You get to share for yourself now. <laughs> okay. We've got some over here, one up here. Um, the only part that I wanted to share was I had gotten kind of the end of this line. We had written, it said, on my wall it says, what you fear will appear. Because we're learning, you know, about the law of attraction and everything. And I got the rest of the line. Unless love is near. Wonderful, wonderful. I would and paint over what you fear will appear. Yeah. Because when you say it to yourself, you're drawing it to you. Yes. I'd paint over that and just write, love, love is, is here. here. Yeah, and that's kind of what it just, just told me to just let that all go. and Let it go. Yeah. And bring in the love. Right. And then, like she said, like the forehead touched her. I kind of just felt this huge universal love just animating everywhere. Um, love is the amazing. key. Love is the answer. Yes. Well done. Uh, if you could chat with her privately, because we need to wrap up here. Oh, she wants to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Dan, he wanted to talk to you. So Dan's got a message for you. For, okay. Go ahead. What I was given, I was wrapped in like a crystalline, lacy material, almost like a cloth. Kind of like what you would see when the, the frost comes on the window. Mm -hmm. But it was fluid and flexible and wrapped around me. Mm -hmm. And I gave back my gratitude. Okay. So <clears throat> you're being wrapped in a new opportunity to allow yourself more freedom. Oh. <laughs> okay. Less rigidity, more freedom. It doesn't have yeah. to look a certain way. So this allows you to move and flex change and take back gratitude. Mm -hmm. So you're ready. You're ready for that. One more up here, and then we'll wrap it up for the day. And if you have any other questions or comments, you can see me or Dan after the service is over. One of us will have an answer about them. So I very much took a nap on the cloud on the way into town. And um, when I got there, I hopped kind of between two buildings. The first one I landed in was marble, and I very much got the sense that it was like a, like a hall of records. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I jumped across the street to another building, and it was purple and amethyst and things like that. And the gift that I received was a small flat rectangular box. It was white with a gold sparkly bow. And when I opened it up, there was a dagger in it. I still have a dagger. Okay. I have no idea. And then the thing that I gave back was a little white flower, kind of like a daisy, but not. Okay. So this dagger is about the sharpness of your awareness. So you're going to have a new point. You're going to see the point. You're going to be able to get to the point. Get where you need to be quickly and effortlessly right there. Okay, Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, the giving back the flower, this little white flower, what I'm seeing in my head is like the snowdrop flower. <coughs> okay. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know what that is, but okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a little white flower. Um, this is about your willingness and the purity of your intent. Keep your intent pure because what you seek is going to find you. Cool. Okay, when I asked, what, because I, I asked them, I said, what do I do with this? When they handed it to me, and, and all they showed me is me hanging onto it and going like that. Not like me, I don't know, like cutting the air in front of me. I don't know what that Again, is. Again, you're going to cut through all the illusion, cut through all the just, the, okay. 
this and that in the drama, you're going to get right to the point. Okay, perfect. That makes perfect sense. Thank okay. you. Thank you, everyone. And if you have any additional questions, again, we'll chat about that. Chat about that. Mr. Phil. Has hey, thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and share. Much appreciated.